Okay, grew up in the bounce around Charleston. Low Country Kids, Football, Cheer Camp by Carlos Dunlap and Robert Quinn. Coming up June 1st, and standing here with me is Carlos Dunlap Sr. Yes, sir. Here to tell us all about the camp. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Welcome, sir. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, now tell us what we're in for this summer. First, to be for foremost, let me give honor to God. I okay. Can't, I can't say anything before I say what he Come has on. done to me. All right. But other than that, everything is good. What we have is a low country football camp. This is our eighth year under this logo of Low Country Football Camp. First, it started out with my son doing just Dunlap football camp, and we went over to Robert Quinn because we wanted to call it the Low Country. Mm -hmm. We asked for all the Low Country athletes that can to come home to show our youth that you can be more in life than just what you are today. Everybody is not going to be an athlete. Mm -hmm. Some's going to have to get education. They're going to have to do other things. So, in conjunction with uh, our camp, our foundation, our North Charleston Police Department. We have the, all these people out here showing our kids what it is to be a man, not longer man. We have cheerleaders out there that comes out to, cheer, to teach girls how to be cheer, how to make young men respect them. But football is not it at all. Mm -hmm. That's just the foundation. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're getting at other things, not just, everybody's not gonna be 6'6", 295 pounds. Come on. So some got to go other ways. You got to get your foundation. The foundation is honoring the mother and your father, mm -hmm. honoring God, then honoring what you put in your body, then get your education. So because it, when you put all those things in it, see what comes out of it. You know, I can hear the passion in your voice. So tell me what it's like to be the father of, an af of a pro athlete. If someone was to ask me 20 years ago, about this situation. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm still living a dream. Mm -hmm. I'm living a dream that I never thought I would live. But I'll tell you a story about it. Okay. The story was, when I was growing up, I wanted to be an NFL player. I would never put on a jersey until my son has a jersey. Mm -hmm. And then I put on that Dunlap jersey, I put on a great honor. I would never wear anyone else's jersey until I was able to write my own name on my own. So it's mine. And that's what I live. I live a great dream. I live a great dream, and it just makes me turn up even more. Okay. It's just wonderful. So when they come to the camp, what should they expect? Well, when you come to the camp, you're going to expect love. Mm -hmm. Love and respect from other uh, people, other guys. We give them free footballs like this one. Mm -hmm. This is a football where they can sign and autograph. Mm -hmm. We give them a mounting stand for it to sit on. Then we give them a t-shirt, a logo of the camp. We give them book bags and packs. We feed them. Uh, we feed them the lunches. And it's truly, it's truly, this is the greatest time of our camp. It's totally free. Mm. In the past, we had to charge. People were thinking we was charging for because we needed the money. We didn't charge because we needed the money. We was charging $20 so we can provide for the park and recreation for Johnny who could not afford a cleat. We could take that and buy them some cleats. So this now, my son has now been his second term around being the man of the year in the NFL, if you know what the man of the year is, wow. Walter Payton man of the year. So the NFL gives us so much money, but we gotta utilize it. And I am here to spend it on my people. So when they come to this camp and they leave that camp, you want them to walk away with what? A phone number where you can call someone if you're depressed. Someone that you can call to and look to that knows that that's somebody who cares about you. I don't want them in my office. I'm a bail bondsman by trade. I just don't want them to come in my office. So if I can just leave that camp with a kid going in the right direction, then all is gone. My work is done. Now, where was this camp take place? At Fort Dorchester in uh, Dorchester Row era, uh, which is the home of uh, Carlos Dunlap and Robert Quinn. What we call them, they're the bookends of the Fort Dorchester there. I, I, I promise you, you'll never find two better defensive end in the NFL from one high school than from Fort Dorchester. So okay. we're good. All right. Low Country Kids, football, cheerleaders camp at the Fort Dorchester alumni, current NFL players, Carlos Dunlap and Robert Quinn's annual youth chair in football camp on Saturday, 
June 1st at Fort Dorchester High School in North Charleston, South Carolina. The camp will start at 8 a.m. and end at 1 p.m. Each kid will receive lunch, a t-shirt, and an autographed football. If you have any questions, email Team Dunlap at dunlap96 at gmail.com. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I sir. hear your passion. It's, it's an honor just to be here with you. Dunlap Senior. Thank All you, right. Sir. Coming up next.